a teenager tries to make the best of hosting her Middle Ages theme party at the same time as her older brother's lacrosse team's kegger by Jen Spira. <laughs> Pretty brother minstrel, quiet your music so I may address my guests. Brother minstrel. Brother minstrel. Dan. Fair maidens and warriors, welcome. My parents, having gone to Cleveland, bequest me their home and bid me make merry. Now, I did not know my older brother would also be having a party the same evening. He's known about my event for weeks. But no matter, in the land of Asheron, we welcome guests with open arms. You know what, Dan? In the land of Asheron, it is the cloak and cap that I sport, which would be the height of fashion, and your dungarees would be the object of fun. But this is not a night for harsh words. No, it is one for delicious Cheetos and the season three Game of Thrones finale. <laughs> Let us turn now to the magic picture box, where images from near and far dance before our eyes. Alexa, fair maiden, and my own best friend, we are turning now to the magic picture box, not to Dan's game of <clears throat> mead palm. Pretty, bear with me, brethren, as I search for the remote wand, which I am sure I laid upon the coaster as I prepared for this evening's festivities. I... God's thumbnail, I swear I just spied the thing. <laughs> the spirit of Asheron will guide my hand. I... Dan, you titter. Prithee, reveal the source of your mirth. Prithee, mum, hmm? No matter, soon it shall be... Very funny, Dan. I see that you have wedged the remote wand between your butt cheeks. <laughs> A droll stunt, to be sure, but far beneath your maturity, if not your math level. Ha ah, I have revealed to the group your struggles with calculus. <laughs> Isn't it funny, fair maidens, how I am two years younger than Dan, and yet one grade ahead of him in the mathematic arts? Instead of tormenting me, shouldn't you be getting to see your tutor or something? You practically live in Mr. Dumbarco's basement. Mr. Dumbarco is Dan's calculus tutor. <clears throat> A harsh blow to be sure, but harsher still is the headlock in which you now imprison me. <laughs> Tis better to lance with words than physical blows, brother. <sighs> then again, feats of strength never did faze you, but rather matters of the mind say, calculating the revenue of a charter bus using a simple parabolic formula, present quite the challenge. Yes, I noticed you missed that question on your last quiz, and oh, so many of its brothers and sisters. But no matter, I too got a four out of 10 when I was a babe in swaddling clothes. <laughs> oh. No, I have not had a chance to lick Donovan's water feeder today. But, as my rabbit and I are the closest of friends, I am not ashamed to do so now in front of this gathering, which I have been planning for weeks. <clears throat> I do not gag on the forceful push you applied to my head as I was debasing myself on Donovan's feeder. <laughs> Rather, I gag at your gamey odor. The alchemists of Asheron have given us this new invention. It's called deodorant, Dan. Have you heard tell of it? <laughs> you respond to my verbal parry by breaking wind. <sighs> but we know I shall have the last laugh when I tell mom and dad, not only did you miss your study group, but you invited a maid into your room and stayed there well beyond sunrise. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Dan, P.U. <laughs> Alexa, I'm sure you chortle in celebration at my trouncing Dan with this latest bit of stratagem and not because he's wrapped himself in a blanket like a cape and is miming me performing oral sex on Donovan. <laughs> Methought not. <clears throat> well, now that that charade is done, let the festivities begin. 
It is time to fill our glasses with Mountain Dew Code Red, that sweetest of fizzy nectars. <laughs> and now our entertainment will begin, just as soon as I disinfect this remote wand.